Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It's Francesco here. I hope you are all doing very, very well. I hope you enjoyed your Christmas. Obviously now that 2016 is over, it is time to round up the year and share with you some of the best applications of 2016. So these awards start in no particular order. I'll end with the more prestigious awards at the end and cover some of the smaller awards at the start. So to start with, we're going to start with the best independent app developer in the productivity space. Obviously over the year, we've had a lot of people contact and suggest a couple of applications that are made by independent developers. We've picked the one that we think has been the best out of all of these applications, and that is Proud. Now Proud is a to-do list application and it just looks gorgeous. It's done such a good job in 2016, bringing out a new Mac application and just looking so fantastic. They work really well with their community and I think they definitely deserve the Independent App Developer of the Year Award. So now on to the next award, the Product Release of the Year. Now this is given to a company or a startup or an application that have released a certain feature uh, that has been the most impressive uh, across all of the application. And I am thoroughly impressed and giving the award to Todoist for their release of Smart Schedule. The Smart Schedule feature is fantastic. I mean, and they did such a good job of launching it and demonstrating its real amazing functionality. So, so now on to some calendar awards. And to start with the iOS calendar award for best iOS calendar of the year goes to Readles Calendars 5. They did such a great job with this application. I can't comment on how good their options are in terms of their view options are fantastic. And they've got a really hardcore application. It's really well designed. It slightly beat out Fantastic L2 on iOS just because of those view options and did a great job. The award for best calendar application on an Android goes to Google Calendar. Google Calendar does such a good job in this year in terms of creating good mobile applications. They've done an awful job on web and desktop, but they did a pretty good job with Android. So well done to Google for winning that one. And finally, the best Mac calendar application goes to Fantastic L2 for Mac. It is a beautiful application and a very well designed one from the start. Works fantastically offline and it just has a really nice design and feel that makes someone who is, who is using it just feel like they're at home with their calendar. Obviously slightly pricey but well worth the price. So the next award is going to be for Chrome extensions. Now obviously there are so many Chrome extensions out there and it actually was a tough battle so I want to name a runner up which I thought deserves a runner-up space. Now that application is called Candy. It's actually going for a Product Hunt Award as well for one of the best applications. It's very similar to a sort of note-taking clipping application, but it's available on Chrome and basically you can clip stuff into different notebooks or, or uh, candies and sort of organize everything there. So that's a good runner-up there. But the actual winner of the Chrome extension of the year goes to Grammarly. Grammarly did such a good job in creating a really impressive application this year, which they kept regularly updated and a great way for you to make any errors and fix them as you go across your day. So sometimes a application comes back from the past, something that hasn't been updated for a very long time. Now this may be due to new management or anything like that, just people wanting to focus on it. But we have an award for the best comeback application of the year. And that award goes to something a little different. It's Remember the Milk. Now, if you don't know, RTM was a really popular application in the old days. What I mean by old days, I mean five or six years ago. Um, but basically, Remember the Milk actually redesigned uh, at the end of 2015 and they've done a great job. So that moves on to the three prestigious awards, the best calendar, the best to-do list, and the best note-taking application. So the best to-do list application of the year goes to Todoist. They did such a good job in 2016. They developed obviously a lot of new things. There are Alexa integration, smart schedule, and just a general better application. Like they just keep developing on making it better and better. The core experience of Todoist is always so strong and deserves a lot of attention. Now the best calendar application, I mean all around the best calendar application has to be Fantastic Out 2. Although available for Mac and iOS, it does the best job I think at creating a really smooth and seamless experience. Obviously, you know, it's not available on Android or web, but I definitely think it deserves the calendar application of the year award. 
And finally, the note-taking application of the year award. Now you're probably wondering what I'm gonna say here because one of the biggest applications has had, had a bad week last week. But I'm gonna stick with Evernote being the best application of the year. Now a lot of people are gonna judge me on this and say in the comments is that's bad that you chose that. But Evernote actually did a good job. If you think about it, they had a lot of problems at the start of the year, a unicorn company having a lot of problems. They've done a great job at organizing the pricing. They've done a great job at sort of scaling down. And especially with the onboarding, they've done a fantastic job at making it easy for people to understand all of the tools and features. So I've got three final awards here. The best new productivity application of the year, the best web application of the year, and also the best app of 2016. The best new productivity application of the year goes to Bear Notes. Bear Notes did an amazing job of creating a brilliant native application on iOS and Mac that just looks great. People can now organize their notes through here and it's sort of like an Apple Notes but a really beautiful version. It does a great job of adding loads of formatting so you can actually text format a lot of stuff and it just looks gorgeous on the go uh, especially when typing into your iPhone or iPad. The best web application of 2016 has to go to Plan 2.0. Now, this is a web application that helps you organize your tasks and events. It's a beautiful application. It sort of uh, is like your sort of web portal if you wanna organize all of your tasks and events as you go across your day because it's just so versatile. Uh, you can add your tasks in line with your events. You can uh, look at your stream of events coming along. It just looks great. Uh, I'm gonna be including a review, so definitely check that one out. And finally, the most prestigious award of the year, the best application of 2016. This has to go to a company that I have been really admiring for the last year. And the one that I've done the most videos on, the one that I share most about, Todoist is the best application of 2016 and definitely deserves this top spot. So guys, what did you think of the Productivity Awards? Let me know in the comments what you would have chosen. I'm gonna add a, like a blank template of all of the awards and all you have to do is copy and paste that, paste it in the comments and share some of the applications you would have voted for and the links as well so other people can follow them around. I'm really excited to share this out and definitely I'll be contacting the companies uh, about their prestigious awards. And I really hope you enjoyed uh, these recommendations, even if you didn't know some of them, or even if you did know some of them. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoy 27, the start of 2017, and I'm really looking forward to sharing more videos with you over the next couple of months. Anyway, guys, I will see you very soon. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers. <laughs>